everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today on another video. And today I'm going to be unboxing this Netgear Wi Fi range extender. So, a few days ago, uh, I had an electrical issue at my house, and a lot of my routers and uh, electrical devices were unfortunately ruined in it. So, I picked this one up to replace my old TP Link uh, range extender, and I'm just going to quickly unbox this and show you guys how to set it up. And uh, I have no idea how this performs. Like, the reviews are pretty decent, but in my experience, reviews don't tell you the whole story. It's always different in your case, but it's usually a good way to go by. So I'm just going to quickly start unboxing this. So here's the box. It's uh, pretty cool. So here's this diagram that s explains what the Ragings Extender does. It takes your existing Wi-Fi network, picks up and extends it so that you can uh, have it in dead zones of your house. And I'm going to get to the unboxing. So here we go. Just very simple. It feels very lightweight too, so I'm not expecting much inside the box. All right, so there's this. All right, it's very, very simple. So we have a quick start guide and the extender itself. No cables, no nothing, just the range extender. The TP-Link uh, range extender I bought a few months ago was, uh, it came with an ethernet cable, but this one didn't. Not a big deal, but just thought it was worth mentioning. So here's the range extender. It's a lot more compact than the TP-Link was. It has a few more lights as well, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot easier to find out what's wrong. The TP-Link only had one light, and it was really hard to figure out if something was wrong with it or not. So on the bottom, there's the factory reset and ethernet. And that's it. It seems to be pretty well uh, designed, especially keeping ventilation in mind. There's a lot of air ports throughout the range extender on all four sides. Very interesting. All right. So I'm gonna move right into the installation process with this device. All right, everybody. So I'm in my kitchen, one of the worst Wi-Fi dead zones in my house. So I have used the TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi range extender right here. I'll be doing the same thing with this Netgear range extender. So the instructions say just plug it in into the close proximity of the Wi-Fi router that you want it to replicate and it'll pick up automatically. So the Wi-Fi router isn't too far from here. So I'm just gonna plug it in right here and I will visit the website that they have given me into this quick start guide and I'll get it, uh, get it started. So when connecting it, let, let's, I'll just show you guys exactly what kind of light we get. All right, so it's turning on. Got a bunch of lights here. So here we have the instructions where it says that I have to visit that address, the myWiFiEXT.net, when after I connect to the Wi-Fi adapter's own network. So let me just pull out my phone real quick. So I'm in my Wi-Fi settings right now, and you can clearly see the next gear EXT has popped up. So I'm just going to tap on it, and wait for a pop-up to come up. So there we go. So this pop-up comes up, which lets you set up the extenders right from here. So let me just go through this process. All right, it wants you to create an ID. All right, let me just create an ID real quick and I will jump right back. All right, guys, so I set up that Wi-Fi network. Uh, I'm sorry, I set up that account and now it's scanning for Wi-Fi networks around me and it only scans 2.4 gigahertz network so if you are willing if you're going to set it up to 5.0 this range extender is not going to work so keep that in mind before buying this so there we go all right so the first one is mine i'll just click to that that's the one i wanted to replicate all right and the pass key just give me a second to enter this all right so i am done with this so i'm just going to hit go And boom, we are done. I'm just going to keep the network name the same so that it just flows as one complete network. And I'm just going to use the same existing network password and next. So what you could do is you could basically set this up as another router, but I don't like doing that. I, I like keeping it as one entire uh, router, like just one big mesh network. So let me just toggle this on and off. And boom, there we go. So let me just show you what the router, the range extender looks like right now. All right, folks. So initially when we were setting up the extender, we saw that it was just one green light. Now we have both green lights. 
So this means that the router, the range extender is ready to go and we can start using the internet from it. So <clears throat> that was pretty simple. It didn't take any time at all. It took me about a minute or two. The filming of this video took a lot longer than the actual setup, so that says something. So that was the setup process for the Netgear range extender. It was very simple. Anybody could do it. It's not difficult at all. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. A lot more stuff like that coming up. And follow me on social media for very interesting stuff. You won't miss out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.